last year, Taunina Bears hit the spotlight when they came down the catwalk at a Marianne Fassler show during Johannesburg Fashion Week. The company has been operating for years from its studio, where previously disadvantaged artists gather each day to lovingly create individually designed, handcrafted teddies. You've come a long way since 2011 when you started the brand. Oh yes, it's been quite a journey. Uh, in fact, we're very lucky to have an honoured guest in our studio today, Juju, who was our first Tarnina Bear prototype. We do laugh, we love him dearly. It was quite a process. We spent about six to eight months taking our little prototype here and developing what we have today, which was a bear which had a very unique personality, mischievous and quizzical, but at the same time nurturing, a real wonderful friend. Obviously each bear has a very different personality because things which are handmade are all different, but they really do embody that signature Tarnina look, I think. You've also collaborated with one of South Africa's top fashion designers. That was wonderful with Marianne Fassler. She has been an incredibly supportive um, designer and obviously it was such a privilege to work with her. And I think she embraced the craziness of the Tarnina brand and what we stand for. And yes, we had our bears walking down the catwalk, uh, the new fashion it accessory. And it was incredible, just an absolute privilege to work with an individual like that. Taunina bears get their name from the merging of the words Tau, Sutu for lion, and Nina, an acronym for no income, no assets. Tracy considers it perfectly apt as it speaks to the artist's lion hearts and transforming their work into sustainable income. So these are our infamous Taunina artists. Ooh. And I believe they have a bit of a challenge for you this morning. I'm always keen to take on a challenge, so I'll go and make myself comfortable. Well, I'm excited about this. It's a while since I've done intricate embroidery. We're going to make a French knot. No pressure. Let's try this. OK. So, I suppose it has to start on the right side. OK. So, how do you actually go about conveying different messages through your work? I mean, I see here you're using very sophisticated colours, but is there anything sort of symbolic about the colours that you use? Each and every creativity I do, it conveys a unique message to the world. For instance, if I use bright colors, I know I'm making this one for a boy, for instance, red and blue. If I use sophisticated colors, I know maybe I'm making it for a grainy, stuff like that. And it also talks about stuff like love, humility, encouragement, and so forth. So meaning I'm communicating to the whole world through my artistry. That's why I love doing my job. It must be such a wonderful feeling to be able to express yourself artistically and create something that you know goes on to give joy to people around the world. It makes me feel great because I'm creating something of my own, like I'm self-motivated. And I also love working with other people as a team. We're teaching each other love through like learning other cultures and so forth. It looks like they might even make an embroiderer out of Joanne. And there is my very wow. first French knot. <laughs> wow. That's wonderful. Do you see that? I feel empowered. Thank That's you very much wonderful. for showing me. <laughs> That's good. A unique creation, each bear is an heirloom art piece that can be passed down through generations to tell the story of your family as well as the artists. Tracy, after taking so much time to just do four French knots and a chain mail, I can understand why you say the true luxury of Taunina is all the time and effort and passion that's invested in these bears. I know, it is incredible what the women put into it. Uh, we then hand package these little personalities and we put them in handcrafted hat boxes over here. And they're and ready to travel. They're ready to travel, but of course they do need their passport, so they will oh. travel with a passport in hand. You can see this is little Raya. I love the name Raya. So each one has a different name? Each one has a unique name, named often by the artist, and then it has the details of the artist and the finisher, and a personalised note to its new recipient. And we would like you to take little Raya into the world with you. I would be honoured. Tracy, thank you so much, especially now that I know the whole story and all of the wonderful love and passion that goes into this project. I am honoured to be Raya's guardian. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to come and share their story. Raya, let's go see the world together. Off you go. <laughs>